These baby goats have been locked up ever since they've been born. Today, we're gonna let them out to the pasture and see what they think. All right, are they all ready to be let out now? They're very restless. All right, guys. All right, so we've got Tilly and Tatum. We've got Willow with her three little babies and then we've got Doris with her two. Then we've also got the little buckling that we just got. Zorro. Zorro, gosh, keep forgetting his name. The little buckling. <laughs> the little buckling. So when they come out to the pasture, they're gonna meet a few of our other goats. Penny is Willow's mom, so she's gonna get to see her grandkids. Fern is Tilly's other daughter, so technically she's Tatum's sister. And Luna and Stella are just, just, just extra fun little goats we have. They have no connection to the babies other than most of the time they like them. All right, goats, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where you go? Here they all come. <laughs> Whoa, this is new. Oh my gosh. What do you think, Luna? <gasps> Luna, the babies are coming. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> she doesn't care. Well, Willow's gonna head off with her two little ones, but where's the third? Oh, he's coming up over here. A little scared. <laughs> Look how little Winston is to Stella right there. They don't care. Oh, don't try to drink from her. There's nothing there. Oh, look, Penny's interested in the buckling. He's new. New smells. Just so many babies everywhere. They've never been out before. This is crazy. You gotta watch and make sure they don't sneak in that chicken coop while we're not watching. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Mamas are running. <laughs> What? What? We can run? Come on, Tatum! <laughs> We've got everybody chewing on this branch. It was the only way we could get them to come out. Here they all come. Here you go. Soto's good at eating these. Look at that. There's Tatum with her mom. There's Wally. Daisy. Duke. Zorro. And where's, oh, there she is. There's Willow, and then there's Winnie and Winston trying to drink. Ooh, oh, now she's getting it. <laughs> now she realizes that she can run. There Come back, yay! <laughs> Once they realize that it's safe, and then they can go to their moms and away from their moms. Come on, Liddy. There we go. <laughs> Okay, now will they come back? Tatum's kind of lost. She's back behind the coop. Come on back! Go, go, go! Good job. Winnie's a little worried about her mom now. Gotta go find her mom. Okay. Gotta go get a little drink real quick. She is. Willow's like, no, you're fine, you're fine. Hey. Oh, she's gonna show him the mountain. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Doris is calling her kids back. But they're like, no, mom. <laughs> no, they, they're, they're crying back to her, but they, that was Minnie. Minnie, did you get hit by a goat? You gotta be careful with these goats. There they go. And she calls them back to drink. Well, I think they're good. I think that they like it being out here in the pasture. We're gonna go inside and make dinner and Come check on them later tonight. I had a dream that you were mine. You lit a flame right over the line. On my darkest day. Like a balloon under the sea. Okay guys, get ready for an interesting dinner. I recently purchased a meat subscription box from a family farm. So I've decided that I'm going to get really good at cooking different cuts of meat. Normally I just uh, throw things in a pot and cook it till it's done. But it's time for me to learn the actual technique involved. So 
I'm gonna take you guys along on this journey. Today we're cooking a pork leg roast. I think that's what it's called. And the recipe I found said to score the fat side about an inch apart. And then we're gonna cover this whole thing with just three ingredients. Olive oil, garlic, and salt. No sauteed onions. So who knows if this is even gonna work out. The first stage has me cooking it on high heat for about an hour. This is supposed to make the fat nice and crispy and rendered down, which it looks like we accomplished. Now I'm supposed to cover it and slow cook it for an hour or more until it becomes tender. Now normally it would be annoying for a dish to take this long, but luckily I have Kevin who likes to watch shows like Pride and Prejudice with me. And so that's how we entertained ourselves while cooking this leg roast. Now after an hour, I checked it and it didn't really seem tender. So I cooked it for an additional 30 minutes and lo and behold, it was finished. It wasn't quite as tender as I had hoped, but I didn't want to keep cooking it because I didn't want it to dry out. In the end though, this was still quite delicious and probably how a leg roast is supposed to taste. So I think we did a pretty good job. We put this on burritos with leftover rice, some avocado, tomatoes, sour cream, and called it good. Keep going. They live on these stairs, right? Yeah, they're right here. This is their home. I'm watching them when we come up to them. They, they come over to us. We brought food today. <laughs> we brought some. Come here. Where's the stair? They're all spread out. Come here. here come. <laughs> Look how fast they come. Okay, <laughs> throw. Yeah. We brought some food for you guys. They're so fast. Where's your stair? Look. Oh, where's the mama today? That's the dad One of them's down there. This is the mama, right? Mm -hmm. There wouldn't be a reason. There you go. Oh, they're so hungry. And that's the dad, right? Do you think because he's got a colored head? Lydia like filled a cone with some chicken Probably feed. Here, throw some to the dad so he comes over here. Well, that's really far. That's dad. really far. We wouldn't see it. The dad doesn't need to eat as much as the little kids. <laughs> they eat every little bit. So how many are there? One, two, eleven, three, four, right? five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's eleven. Same as yesterday. Same as yesterday. Look at them. <laughs> they eat it, eat it all really that fast? Yeah, they really do. Well, they have a mama and a daddy, so I guess they're good. <laughs> the mom's so good, she lets her babies eat all of it. So we're at the canal that runs by our house that goes all the way down there and this is what brings the water to our backyard when we want to do flood irrigation. We came here last night, found this little clutch of ducks. Now we're attached, guys. We get in the cart, then they'll come up on the shore. Here, come up on the cart. Oh, there, there's no stairs, they need the stairs. Oh, no, they can no, climb they up. No, they can climb up anyway. Oh, here he comes. There They're they come. It. Here, I'll throw some food up. Yeah, okay, come with us. Here we go. <laughs> there you, go. you can see how much we love animals. So even though with all the animals we have on the farm, we're gonna come down here and play with the ducks. Look, the mama comes. Oh, up. here comes the mama. Oh, there she is. Give her some food. Oh, they came right up to you, Lydia. I didn't see that. Yeah, they're right here. We can catch them. No, <laughs> we don't want ducks. We don't. They're too messy. But we'll just come down and feed the wild ones. Let's see, do they follow? Slowly. Slowly. Okay guys, update on the corn. It is looking really good. We probably have like 85, 90% germination. So that's really good. Now, just gotta keep them alive, give them lots of water. We don't usually have any problems growing corn until the ears form, and then it's a fight with the bugs, but I'm up for it again this year, like I do every year. Let's see if it works. I've been busy kind of refreshing and adding wood chips to the garden, and this is like the key to growing here in Arizona, seriously. Just gotta mulch, 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 and that helps keep the moisture in, and that helps build the soil up, and I swear, it's like the key to the best, easiest gardening. So a lot of my friends make fun of me about my front yard orchard. They, they laugh that I call it a front yard orchard, 
But you guys, there's like 30 trees in our front yard. The reason why we planted fruit trees in our front yard is because where we live, you're not allowed to turn your front yard into a garden, but there's nothing that says you can't turn it into an orchard. So that's what we did. The whole thing is filled up and I'm just in love. My grapes are looking so great. See these little grapes starting right here? And I plan on extending this, the vines out this way and then back that way. You gotta make the most of the front yard, every little bit. Kevin, check out all these blackberries. Mm. Is that one ready? Looks like it, I think. Mm. So <laughs> close. Really? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Time to go put the animals away. Yes. Let's see where everybody ended up. Yeah. See how oh, they're, they're all coming over here anyway. We've got mango up here and then a random liege fighter up here. Come on, goats. We're just missing Tilly and Tatum now. All right. Good night, baby goats. They've got a little bit of grain. They've got water. They've got hay. And all of them are in here together. Thanks for watching today's video guys. If you want to watch the video last year where the babies got let out, baby Stella was playing around, click right here.